how to make roofs with beams. First version, straight. First, you need a straight line. This is the starter set, uh, the starter template of angled lines. If you have an older character, then you have it on you already. If you have a newer character and you don't have it, then just look on the forge under, right down at the bottom under building templates. And this is the lines angled one. Um, we'll also be using some of these arcs templates to do the curved roofs. All right, so figure out what angle you want your roof to be. It can be any angle at all. And copy out the line of that angle. You can obviously make your own line as well. I'm just saving some time being lazy. So let's just start by pasting a whole bunch in a row to make our basic roof. And I'm just using the mouse wheel to scroll over one at a time. So there we go. That's a kind of shallow roof, but it's all right. Any angle will work for the demonstration. Now, where I want to make a beam, all I'm going to do, go into tweak mode here. And I've got, right now, I've got my paste selection lined up exactly with the roof that I pasted. So tweak mode, I held down control as I left clicked, brings up my tweak mode menu here. I want to untick the paste air with voxels option. And then I want to drag this one down and one inwards and paste. Now that actually came out pretty clean, but depending on the angle that you're working at, you may not always get it that clean. So to make sure it's perfectly clean, go back up one and outwards one so that you're exactly where you started before and paste it again. And that should smooth out any of the artifacts that you may have seen there. Uh, and that's basically it. It's super simple. I believe Cold Knight showed me this trick first, but I know a lot of people use it. If you wanted a beam on the outside as well, you could go again up and over one. And then again, this is turning out very smooth with this particular angle, but if you have any issues, go back and repaste in the original space and you should have a perfectly clean beam. You can go two down if you want a thicker beam and two over. You may start getting some issues where there's a gap between there that you might have to fill in. So in this particular case, I moved it so far down that there are a couple little gaps and I can fill those in if I just paint and use the E fill option. Um, that way is not going to deform the voxels as I paint. Uh, turns out I actually had a wood material selected, so I want to paint it the same color, but so on. But uh, that's a little thick for probably what you want most beams to be, but your mileage may vary. And then, of course, just copy it however uh, many times over you want. Select this whole thing. And I don't have to select the rough edges if I don't want them. I can just take a slice out of it. Or maybe I do want the overhang, but your choice, depending entirely on the look you want. And then figure out how far apart you want those beams and paste accordingly. You'll need to do a little tidying up, as you can see. I didn't space those equally. Um, but uh, when I copy the whole roof, paste, now I'm going to mirror. So I'm hitting V and it's going to mirror it in the direction the arrows are pointing. I could have rotated it as well, but because I didn't space my beams exactly symmetrically, uh, that wouldn't necessarily have worked. And then paste it again, depending on exactly where you paste it and your angle and all sorts of other factors. It may or may not need a little tidying up. You can also bring it closer like that and see what works best. You may need to play around a little bit and find out what is going to 
require the least amount of work. It's probably that. And then I can use a number of tricks. For example, I can copy this inside angle, which is pretty clean, and I can paste it on top of this upper angle, which is less clean. Oops. That's actually... Ah, that's not actually going to work cleanly because this is thicker than that is. Uh, in that case, what I can do is fiddle around here to clean up. individual voxels. Oh, that just mirrors it. What I, let's see, what I would ideally do, this is a tricky angle um, for a roof, so it's creating that arch. What I would probably do is take a micro voxel and stick it in there right in the middle. Uh, let's see if we have, yes, so the reason and the reason this is going to be tricky is that's meeting between two voxels, so we would need a line exactly there to clean it up. We can do that in a few ways, which are a little beyond what I was planning to show today. Um, so let me let me think. Easiest might be. See, the tutorials never go exactly as smoothly as planned when you do a random roof angle. Put this down here. Well, let's experiment and see what's going to work best. Uh, just got a little bit extra there that I didn't need. Delete. Okay. So I could possibly use a big. Oops. Go away. A big line tool to cut. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to paste a flat bit there and then use a large line tool brush. To cut straight down. That is probably a little too far over. the line tool will go solid green when it's aligned in both axes. There we go. So now I hit F to cut with that and it'll cut straight down there. Now I can copy that with that straight cut section. Paste mirror and paste, and I have an absolutely perfect point. And I could copy these voxels also to get my beams up there too. But that should be straightforward, just copy-paste. Oops, I'll have to find the exact voxel section they align with. Okay, so clearly I'll need to grab one from further down here to find the exact alignment, but you get the idea. Alrighty. So there's a few ways you could do that. You wouldn't need to do that with some angles or roof you chose. I happened to choose randomly an awkward angle that met poorly. Um, I think you would actually find it happens less with steeper slopes, but that was a good example of how to deal with it. So that's your angled roofs. And I will quickly now show you a curved roof, which is actually even easier. Although you'd think it would be harder, but it's easier because you don't have to worry about that point in the middle. So instead of starting with a line, we're going to start with a curve. And again, we can go to our default starter templates, 
just pick a curve the size that we want the curve of our roof to be. So you probably don't want a tiny one, but probably in the 30-ish and upward size. I grabbed one that's 29. So again, exactly the same. I'll lay out a few in a row and I'll just sanity check that. Is that the size of the roof I want? And with an arch like this, I could have a flat area in the middle, so it could be quite wide. For example, I might, instead of directly fitting it like that, maybe that's a little small, but I could extend it out like to there, for example, and have a flat area across. However, I've got my initial curve. I think I'm happy with the size. So again, I am going to go into tweak mode by holding down control. I've got this aligned exactly with where I originally pasted it. I'll go here in the middle and I'm going to go one in and one down. Confirm. And you can see here you get some pretty terrible looking artifacting. But if I go one up and one over back to my original position and paste, Again, make sure it's without air. You can see it cleaned it up perfectly. And there you go. And again, works on the outside too. If I wanted one up, one over. Yes, and again, get some not quite as bad, but definitely some weird little spiky bits. Back to the original position and it cleans up perfectly. And then I just copy this whole thing. paste it as many times in a row as I want, and I mirror it, oops, carefully line up those beams, and I can either do it immediately adjacent or I can, as I mentioned, extend it out a little bit. But it is basically done. So I will just fill in the gap in between here. And in between here. Between here. Now I want to paint it obviously in some contrasting colors and whether this is a high-tech sci-fi roof or whether it's a more traditional wood roof is really your choice but uh, Basically, you probably want the beams to look slightly different than the rest of it, just so they stand out a bit. And it's obviously a little more efficient if you plan ahead and paint it before you start copying and pasting. But anyway, there we go. And I'll make this nice burled wood. All right, so that is how to make simple beams and roofs. You can do lots, oops, lots of fancy things, but that's a real quick way to make a very nice looking roof, and that's all that I did when making the halfling house here. Um, oh, I should add that I also went through and added a little detail in the ceilings just for additional contrast. 
and what works on your ceiling will depend a little bit how wide you made your ceilings, but uh, you can just add some beams going lengthwise as well if you like. 